Well, hello there. My name is Sometimes Heather and I play Old School Online. Today, I wanted to take you to Apocrypha and the Infinite Archive. Infinite Archive, formerly known as the Endless Archive, was added to the game with Update 40. It is free for all and is promised to bring fun and excitement to players of all ages. You can enter alone or with a friend, be it a human or companion such as Ember here. I'm no expert in matters that regard the Archive far from it, and from my point of view, confusion comes with fun and excitement. Then again, I'm very easily confused. Let's start from the beginning. In order to enter the Infinite Archive, you can either fast travel, which is the easiest way, or travel to Apocrypha to seek out a hidden entrance. Both ways take you to the same place, an entrance lobby to the Archive. Here, you can find a repeatable quest and two Filer merchants. Filer Dazuras wants to sell you things that are useful in combat, while Filer Ools wears change weekly and include antiquity leads, style pages and dungeon fragments, among other things. It might pay off to keep an eye on this adorable merchant. Once you're done shopping, you might start to ponder where the entrance is. If you picked up the quest from under the blue arrow, you'll see a white arrow that marks said entrance. Follow the arrow and, oh my, get sucked in. Once you start to move further into the first chamber, you'll meet a horde of enemies. Slay them all and two more hordes follow each other to attack you. If you manage to kill them all, you have cleared the first stage and get to choose a verse to aid you in the next chamber. Choose wisely, for a verse only lasts until you pick up another one. You can find damage shields, companions that offer assistance in peculiar ways, even a pack that shakes gold out of fallen enemies. You must make a choice before a portal that takes you to the next chamber is revealed. You can find two watchlings here. One is a merchant who will happily fix your gear between stages, and one is full of more. They're both fun friends, useful even, so be certain to see what they have to offer. They'll speak with you regardless of vampire stage, which means your gear will always be mended. Sometimes, another portal appears next to the one that'll take you to the next battle. Portals to the unknown offer extra challenges that can grant you glorious rewards and endless entertainment. During these interludes, you might be transformed into an adorable, given a task to complete, or brought face to a formidable enemy. You might die when venturing out into the unknown, but that doesn't count as a real death. No lives are removed, and after the incident, you will be returned to the scene of your next battle. If you won, with a new verse, if you lost, with your old verse. The first stages are easy. Hordes of minor enemies are quick to get rid of, and the verses can be a lot of help despite their whimsical nature. Usually, after two stages of enemy hordes, you are taken to a disc-like arena where you will meet a boss. This is where things get interesting. The bosses are copies of bosses in ESO. They can be anything between super easy dungeon bosses to I'm kill you with a single breath types of trial bosses. It really helps to study their mechanics before combat because, did I not tell you this before? You only have three lives here. If you die, you can respawn where you stand or travel back to the entrance chamber. The bosses you meet are completely randomized. You can meet a trial boss after the first stages or the Whisperer as your very lost enemy. As a reward for killing the boss, you get randomized loot and a choice between two visions. Here you really must choose carefully. Visions last throughout your stay in the archive. Most of them are singular but there are also set visions, avatars. If you manage to gather all three in a set, you get the perk that allows you to turn into an adrenach or a werewolf. Sounds like a lot of fun, I wish I can get that far someday. To be quite honest, I'd be happy to just battle the bosses, 
They're a fun challenge, whereas the endless dresh hordes are just mind-numbing. The hordes get increasingly difficult as you advance, and sometimes they hold a rather powerful boss enemy, which you need to kill pretty quickly since hordes don't stop coming at you just because you have your hands full with a super big boss. I usually cash in at the first one. <clears throat> Bringing a friend makes the archive a lot easier, but I like to play solo, as a stage 4 vampire. Double trouble for Heather! And that's not all. Along with trash mobs and bosses, you get to chase a Daedra Lord named Thoat. This one appears, if I've understood correctly, at the I end of each cycle. Thoat is a Join bit of an annoying here. enemy, but not entirely impossible to get rid of. In order to complete the quest related I to the Infinite Archive, you will need to kill Thoat for times before a final battle takes place. Have I gotten that far? Heck no. My record is two thoughts. And then I got hungry and tired and locked up and all my progress was erased. There's a fun thing related to the archive. You need to finish it on one goal. No logging out and returning to continue another day, eh? Nee, nee. It's now or never gainer, use no snooze. That's another reason why I'd like to just test my strength against the bosses. Got things to do in real life too, like videos. Infinite Archive is a huge time steal, so be prepared before you enter. Bring snacks and energy drinks, but not too many, enough's enough. Once you have either cleared the whole thing or died three times, it is time to return to the lobby. A safe, happy place where you can find many things to buy. Infinite Archive doesn't only bring us confusing fun, but also armor sets, one for each playable class. These sometimes drop from reward coffers after boss battles in the Archive. They can also be purchased from the Zuras for Archival Fortunes, a new currency you can get by playing in the Infinite Archive. Set pieces are hidden in mystery coffers, so you can never be certain what you'll get. They, just like the entire Archive, is completely randomized. If I didn't know better, I'd say we have Uncle Sheo to thank for all of this. I'm actually kinda sorta really interested to try the Sorcerer class set, Monolith of Storms. It adds to critical chance and weapon and spell damage, and brings fun boosts related to storm calling and shock damage. I do believe Lilian might be the perfect test subject for this. I was thrilled when I first heard about the Endless Archive, but when it actually rolled around, confusion was great with this one. I do like the randomness of it all. The new sets and the merchants are nice, but the currency and the endless trash mobs I could do without. The Archive takes a lot of time, and I don't always realize that when venturing in. Though this isn't perhaps my cup of coffee, I do hope the Archive holds on to its initial popularity and, perhaps, in the future, gains some improvements and even more play mobs. That'll be fun. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Next time, I thought I might use a transmute station to cook up a piece of jewelry. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Ta!